I wasn't arguing, but go ahead. Dynamite. Just under 1 million viewers, 979,000, down 11.2% from last week. Lowest audience since July 7. The big competition was the challenge, which... uh, (laughs) It's amazing. Dude. So I just (laughs) want to give this stat because I've given it a couple of times and it blows my mind. AW Dynamite had 979,000 total viewers, okay? The challenge only had 660,000 viewers. So uh, over 300,000 fewer viewers than Dynamite. However, of those 660,000 viewers, 480,000 of them were 18 to 49. So despite 300,000 fewer total viewers, they had more 18 to 49 viewers than AEW did, which is an astounding. Astounding! It is astounding to do 500,000 18 to 49 and only 660,000 total viewers. No young people watch the show. <laughs> no old people watch the show. Only 18 to 49 year old viewers. The quarters for AW, I don't have them all in front of me. Brendan Thurston has them up. But basically, the show opened lower than usual. And then it slowly grew throughout the show. So unlike virtually every other professional wrestling show on television, it peaked in the main event. Uh, The Chris Jericho match with Wardlow was the highest rated thing on the show. It was 1.1 million viewers. And so whatever the situation was, I mean, it was interesting. I guess the female viewers, obviously a lot of female viewers watched uh, the challenge. They did not switch over to Dynamite when the challenge ended. But as is normally the case with AEW, if you aren't watching the show live, you're just watching the whole show on DVR later. That's what their audience does. But anyway, those are the numbers for that show. They lost half of their semi-olds. It's amazing. The 18 to 49 number is crazy to me because I like keeping an eye on 18 to 34 for my own reasons. But I'm looking at it and it's like, they were actually up 2,018 to 34s, but they lost 50%, 47% of their 35 to 49s. And I guess that is a completely due to the challenge and the road rules deal or whatever the hell it's called now. But obviously, looking at those numbers that they had, boy, they are actually more uh, very specific in who they're they're aiming at and the people that like that show. And the thing is with Dynamite 2, the overall number, it started so soft at 892. That's probably the thing that kept it from going over a million. And I guess I I did hit the number uh, saying between 975 and a million. Although, again, you, 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 you tweak that first number a little bit. It's so low in comparison to the rest of the show, the 892,000 people that started that... You know, if you get a couple more of those people, that number probably goes over and and you don't have a problem. Plus, the other good part is it continued to, you know, get better throughout the show. And then ultimately, two out of the last three quarters they had were the best ones of the show. Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.